Hi guys, this is Tech Guru, and uh, welcome back to my another tutorial on Creo Family Table. Uh, this tutorial will be on uh, nested family table. Okay, so we'll study what is nested family table or multi-level family table in Creo today. Uh, before starting, I have a small request, guys. Please watch this video fully, as I consider half knowledge to be very dangerous. So let's begin and understand what is the concept of uh, nested family table. Okay, this is the uh, picture that shows us uh, briefly about what is nested family table. What happens is nested family table means creating a family table inside another family table. Okay, so for example, I have a bolt over here. Using this bolt, I create M8 and M10 by controlling nominal dia. But then I need different lengths for M8. So what I do from the first family table nominal dia of M8, I generate M8 underscore 45 and M8 underscore 50 as the different lengths. Similarly, it is done to M10 also. Okay. So to better understand, let us first go and do the model. Okay. What we will do is we we'll, I have opted M8 as our generic model for the entire nested family table. So we'll create this model and then we'll better understand what is actually a multi-level family table or a nested family table in Creo. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create the model. First we'll go for extrude. We'll create the bolt head. Then we'll make a cut. Bring it in the middle. Okay. Then we will coincide this and this. We will click on both sides, we will make it 6.4 deleted. Okay, then I will create a sketch on this because I have to create a chamfer. This is tangent. This and this. Just click on this. Click on this. Okay. Then create a point. Using this and this plane. Okay. Point is created. Now create a revolve cut using this plane. is we will create 30 degrees angle that will be our cut angle then we will dimension this by deleting this ok that's it create cut so our bolt head is ready now we will go for shank Eight. We'll make a thirty five mm shank length. So that is point eight. So what happens here is our geometry of the model is ready, but this model is not completely ready for the creation of family table. We have to control everything using nominal dia over here. So what we will do is we will create relations. Okay, for tools, create relations and control the geometry of this 
old using relations okay so what happens is d12 is our nominal dia so we will, we want this to be 0 0.8 times d12 okay then d1 should be 2 times d12 okay and then we have a chamfer over here so this is what we'll be picking we want it to be 2 times d12 we have one more chamfer over here this should be 0 0.1 times d12 okay that's it and then there's one more so what happens here is we want this to be 0 0.8 times d12 and this to be equal to 2 times D1. Okay, so that's it. Let's go and see what did we have written. Okay, D12. Say Control X, Control G, and Control D. So the model is ready. There's one more thing that we need to do. We need to go to model intents parameters and add a parameter named as shank length. Shank underscore L E N G T H. Okay, this is an integer with value 35 okay go back to tools d relations say that d12 is equal to shank length shank underscore n e n g t h okay now, now it makes sense now oh, something has gone wrong it should be d11 okay have specified it as D12, it should be D11. So control G. Okay. Then go here. Fix it. Fix the error. This should be 8. Okay. So that's it. Control G, the model is ready now. Our generic model is ready and everything is set. What we need to do is we need to just go and make a small verification. After changing this to 40, will our model change? Let's check it. Tools, so analysis, distance, 40. Changed, correct. Tire. Eight perfect. Okay, now we'll go back and set it back to thirty-five. Control G. Okay, now let's go and create family table. Go to model intent. Click on family table. Click on the nominal tile. Now that is what will control our model. Okay, so say okay. It's done. Click this say this to be 40 okay L M L this is 40 delete this say this as 40 40 we want this to be M 10 underscore L 35 okay and this is 35 this is 10 this is 10 create one more delete this okay just write it as l and th e n length because you have to differentiate the above one Okay, this is also LEN. E 
Okay. That's it. Write it as 8 over here. Now, our first family table is ready. Verify it. Should be a success. Open this. Okay. Verify all the dimensions are right. Dia is 10. And then length is. So the distance is 35. Okay. So our very first family table which contains only nominal values is ready. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to create our nested family table or multi-level family table. How we do it. Okay. Now what, what we need to do is click on this. Go to the insert and say in here we have something called as instance level table okay you have to click on that come to parameters pick shank length insert say ok say ok okay so m8 is ready now we need for m40 delete this Click one more. This should be forty five. Okay, so looks fine. Verify. Okay, close. So say close, save it, go back to family table. Now click on this insert instance level table. Go back again, parameters, shank length, insert OK, say OK. Okay, now here we have 40. Forty. One more for 45. Okay, so just click and verify. There it is. You can clearly see this is the generic model. This is the first family table. M8 underscore L, length 35, M10 underscore length 35. Then this is nested family table for M8. This is nested family table for M10. Close. Okay, now what we need to do is just close everything. Say erase not displayed. Okay. This won't go. I have a graphics problem. I am running low on my graphics. Open. See now this is the generic model. When I click on this is our first family table which contains only nominal diameters that is M10, M10 and M8 of length 35. When I double click on this I get the nested family table. Okay. So this is how you enter into family tables, nested family tables. To verify whether we got the value right, click on M8 underscore length 45, click OK. Do analysis. Diameter 8, perfect. Distance 45, perfect. So it is M8 underscore length 45. One is obtained. Okay. Now what we need to do is open generic model again. We'll go to M10 now. Click on the M10 again. We enter into nested family table. Open it. Okay. Then analysis. Diameter is M10. Perfect. And then distance should be 45. Here it says 45. It should be 45. Perfect. Okay. This is how you create family table using nested family table option in Creo. Nested family table option is also called as multi-level family table. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please try this at your end. Okay. And the last thing guys. If you like this video, click on like button in YouTube. If you have any comments, please leave your comments. And if you want to get the update on my next 
वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच